favorite functions, um, and that's posterize. So um, let's go ahead and download the posterize function. And we're going to JES and open it. Posterize. And basically what Posterize does is it takes the range of possible colors that you can represent using our RGB color numbers and reduces it. So here what we're doing is we're looping over all the pixels in a picture, we're getting the red, green, and blue values, and then um, we're taking the 256 different um, shades of red that we can have and we're reducing them to four. So we're taking anything that's currently less than 64 and we're setting it to 31. We're taking anything that's between 64 and 128, setting it to 95, between 127 and 192, setting it to 159, and um, anything that's uh, larger than that, we're setting to 223. And then we do the same thing with the green, and the blue, and that gives us this posterized effect, effect because we're taking what is currently 256 shades of red times 256 possible green values times 256 possible blue values. And we can see here that that's over, um, what is it? 16 million different possible colors, more than a human eye can detect, but that's all the possible different co different possible colors that we can create when we have values between zero and 255 for each of our colors. And we're reducing that to four different reds, greens, and blues, which gives us four times four times four, 64 different colors total, and so that will give us a posterized effect. And if we were to go to three shades, it would look even more posterized. Um, and two, it would be even sort of choppier and more of a poster posterized effect. So let's load our program and let's create a file. And we can posterize whatever we want. People are kind of good to do. Let's do, uh, let's do Anthony, what the heck. And then we'll do Anthony equals make picture file. And we'll show Anthony here. And we see there's Anthony. And then we'll try posterizing. And this actually changed the changes the image that we pass in. So it's not return, not creating a new blank canvas or returning a new image. It's changing the one that we pass it. And then that'll loop over all the pixels and it's going to change them. And now if we repaint Anthony, we see that we've got this posterized effect because it took all of the shades and all of the possible 16 million different colors and reduced them to 64. So we have this choppy posterized effect. So that's pretty fun. You can, um, you can also do this, uh, you could convert your image to grayscale and then posterize it, um, which gives you a, a different effect. Um, and you don't have to change it to the same shades of red, green, and blue. You could switch them around and then you end up with kind of a neat looking image. So that's posterization. Um, I encourage you to give it a try. It's pretty fun.